Hey, a pleasant good evening, Flyers fans. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and finally, it wasn't pretty. Carter Hart was the leading star, but we get a 4-3 to three win and one of the best performances I've ever seen from a goaltender giving up a uh, few goals in Carter Hart, who now moves to 6-0 and in his career after going over 40 saves. We'll talk about a guy that can steal you games. He's definitely been Mr. Clutch before in his career, and Carter Hart was Mr. Clutch here in his career Yet again, and then the big thing for this game is both penalty, um, or not penalty kills, excuse me, power plays for these teams came in a little bit over 13%, um, going towards 14%. I think they were both over 13.5%, um, if I'm not mistaken, but still, they were in the 13, in between 13 to 14%, not good. Um, and then we kept the power play. We were playing with fire because you had the dangerous players of Patch already. Carlson being out is a big reason why he's been a good power play player from the inception of the Golden Knights for them. Uh, he's been back. Um, they didn't get it going. Uh, we still stopped the power play, and that was huge. Carter Hart said it after the game <clears throat> when they interviewed him. The the special teams was the difference of this game. You went one for six, stop Vegas. The only power play goal. Uh, they were able to score was Max Pacioretty's, which was the one that made it uh, four to three on that really nice slap shot he was able to have that Hart didn't have a chance on. And then, of course, earlier in the game, Max Pacioretty was able to score on the goal that tied it up. At that point, after Max Wilman was able to get his first, as the puck was able to go to him in front after he made a nice play to shoot the puck to begin with, <clears throat> they got it back. Uh, Brown got it back, they were put in front, and the fourth line is able to get a goal. That's great to see scoring throughout the lines, and then Kevin Hayes, who you need to get going, got the first goal as well on a backhander, so obviously everything's moving in the right direction. Guys, you want to see get going, Couture scored the power play goal, JVR scored the other power play goal, Max the Rocket, Mad Max, Wilman wrote an article on him, so did Samantha Wiseman, go check him out on Nitty Gritty um, as well, but He's been a guy that's worked his tail off to come up from the ECHL, became a stud there, became a dynamo scorer in the AHL, and now got his first in the NHL. And if that couldn't have energized a team, what the hell could have been? It looked like it did a little bit. It looked like the Flyers played with a little bit more spunk and fire in their bellies. After a guy like Wilman scored and did that nice little celebration um, there, the Flyers uh, trounced them in hits. They had 30 hits in this game, where early in the game they didn't have enough puck possession, the Flyers. They did a little bit better as time um, went on. Uh, they still need to control the puck better, obviously, and there's things they need to build on. The Golden Knights have 14 takeaways, um, so obviously the Flyers, you want to see them control and pass out of the zone, do all those things a little bit more squeaky cleaner as time goes on because their special team is really what carried them over the hump in this game. They absolutely dismantled. And Golden Knights power play, Carter Hart was a brilliant genius in this game in net. And then on the power play, via the JVR goal, and another nice pass from Konechny, who had a good game against, obviously, the Avalanche, but nobody had a good game, really, other than Frost, who brought some energy against the New Jersey Devils. Uh, he's able to get it over, and then JVR scores. Max Wilman brings the energy, and then brings the goals tonight. And then, obviously... You also, again, had Hayes and Coots get going as Coots slaps one in low right past Lauren Perso. So this was a very good game, 44 shots. You don't want to be giving up that much shots, but also with Carter Hart, maybe it's a great balancing act thing to think of because he's 6-0, and he's a beast, he's a dog out there when you do give up that much shots, and he's a guy that steps up and steals games for you time and time again when you give up that much shots because he's now... Hasn't lost one game. I think it was 6-0-1 or something, but still hasn't lost anything in regulation uh, when he has got that many shots on him. This dude is one of the best goalies in the league and obviously has a chance to be Team Canada's goaltender. If we do end up going to the Olympics, we have to see with the announcements today of the NHL favor maybe not doing that now, what they decide to do. I hope they decide to still play because it's such unfortunate if they don't, but you do have to be safe as well. So we'll see what ends up happening there. But this has been a reaction to finally getting a win, a 4-3 to three battled out win that Carter Hart is the first star of the game. That is for darn sure. I would say the second star of the game uh, in this one because he was able to get his first goal. Uh, I would have to give two, and these aren't going off of the same stars they give, by the way, every night I do my own. I would have to give to Max Woolman for bringing the energy, getting his first goal. Look good, got a nice pass to Proveroff later in the game where he just wasn't able to receive the pass to be able to do anything with it. 
Um, so uh, Max Woman looked good overall. And then I would say the third star of the game would be the guy on the losing team. That would be Max Pacioretty. He was the biggest uh, enforcer on their side of the ice of really getting it done for the Vegas Golden Knights. So have a great day and pleasant night, everybody. Go Flyers. Let's try to make it two in a row as we head down to play in Arizona tomorrow in Glendale. Peace out, everybody.